game one out of the way? What would you see from your team? What would you like from your team? We definitely controlled the tempo. I mean, we saw they broke us down twice, got dangerous. So we, as a coach, you never like to see that. But it's also important of what we do moving forward against Radford. So they definitely showed us some areas that we got to get better. But, you know, I was pleased how we took care of the ball, how we moved the ball tonight. Uh, I thought it, you know, it could have easily been more than two. So, you know, I don't want to get greedy, so I'll take it and run. Taylor White, was she out with an injury? Is that kind of what it was? Yeah, was... we're just kind of getting her back. She's she's full go, but we just, you know, if, if we don't need to aggravate anything, we didn't want to do that. So she's at the point right now, hey, good for her to get a little bit of run out here, not yeah. do anything, but not stress. Right, and you, and you saw, you know, she got taken down there, and it's just not worth the risk right now and I know she's frustrated with me but uh, you know she's got to understand my my main goal is for her to be long term. So Austin Hayes go. Yeah. Did she get ahead on it first and then kick it or how, how did that I don't know play? Olivia what you think? I think it bounced off the ground a little bit I think she headed it and then it bounced. Yeah the I yeah I think she got it first got a head on it I don't know what happened after that yeah. but yeah that was important she's so you know she's so dominant um, obviously in the air and and she needs to take care of that that type of opportunity you mentioned the other day only getting about 10 days with this team in the preseason is this team you know after kind of game one seeing them here about where you want a team to be at this point in the year you know us coaches are never happy you know we always want more practice time I, I, I'll never tell you that you know I felt that we were ready for today but we the girls have worked so hard and and I thought we they did a great job in the press uh, we, you know, we were very committed to high pressing them and looking for the counter attack. And I thought the girls, that takes a lot of effort um, and a lot of hard work. So, you know, I was pleased that they were willing to have max effort tonight uh, to get that win. And because free kick, um, is that something that she does really well? And just how does she thrive in that role? Annika? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Annika, you know, did that for us last year. You'll, she'll continue to do that. But, yeah, when that ball comes off of Annika's foot, it's definitely deliberate, and she knows where she's going with it. You all are the first team to wear the 44 patches. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you, just someone who's been here for a long yeah, time? Yeah, I mean, there, there's no bigger honor than to represent Jerry West and what he means to this community here in our athletic department. But what a class act. And... I just hope that everybody, um, you know, celebrates what he's brought to this university. But, you know, more importantly, just he's just a sports legend, and we're so blessed to have him. He's our he's our treasure. So it, it means the world to me to be able to have uh, the girls wear his number. Did you ever get to interact? With him I at did. All? I did. So one of the the fun things for me was when his son was going, making its way to the Final Four, I was with his wife in the stands a lot and he didn't want to go to any of the games because he didn't want any attention on him. So I always kind of looked at that and, and really thought that was so classy, uh, making sure it was about his son and not about him. And, and then of course I had some interaction with him when he, when he would come to town and he's done so many things for this athletic department, we just don't know it. And that's the, the type of uh, human he was that he just didn't want the attention on him. What'd you make of uh, McKenzie's night in front of the goal? I thought she was solid. You know, I mean, again, we never want the, you know, the, the jewel, that treasure to be looked at. Uh, <laughs> so we want to protect her. So I thought we did a good job. Our back four did a good job, uh, not giving many looks. But I thought McKenzie was great, very solid for us tonight. Your players came out with a lot of energy today. As a coach, with your experience, do you look for more talent or attitude? In so listen, you should have come right into the pregame speech, and I talked about that. I said, you know, um, people are caught up with, with, you know, being special and how important being special and talented is, but it's really about the grit and it's really about how hard you're working and, you know, how consistent you are um, and just how determined you are. So I, I thought the team, that's what I thanked them about today. I was like, you brought that, so I'm glad you saw their energy and that focus. Not only, go ahead. Okay. Not only were you all the first to wear the 44 patch, you all are the first athletic program to actually, you know, get out there and compete first regular season yeah. match for any WVU sport today. What's that like? And, you know, any ex added pressure onto that? Or? Um, I, well, again, pressure's a privilege, but we've always done it, yeah. you know, so I don't know any different. Uh, I, I hope we set the tone. That's the goal, right? So now whoever's next, I don't know if it's men's soccer or Neil. But uh, it's important for us to set the tone, especially if we are the first to go. Uh, but we've done it, I've done it for 29 years here, so, you know.
it's exciting. You had big shoes to fill at the goalkeeper position. How do you feel like that went tonight? Is it still kind of a battle, or is that who you're going to go I with? I mean, the 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 um, diversity, not diversity I'm looking for, but at any given time, someone can step up and win a position. So I, I think we have so many different players then that can step up, and every day in practice is a tryout. Now you want to show players confidence, but man, I'm telling you what, we, we have um, so much parity in the program right now with, with every position. So yeah, I mean, it's McKenzie's to lose.